Hello peoples, this is Banner Knights, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Paper Mario. In the last episode, we defeated HR Puff and Stuff, or would that rather be Puff and Puff. And in this episode, we come in to come talk to Peach. And Twink, of course, can't forget that little guy. Hey, Twink, you know the sneaky parasol I got on the quiz shell? I can change into someone else when I use it, right? So don't you think I can use it to get out of here? Uh, no, that, that was totally not the point of you getting it, Princess Peach. Please keep your mind on track. We can't have your thoughts wandering like that. I mean, how can you think of doing that? Yeah, I bet you can. Why don't you try it out? Press B while facing whoever it is you want to transform into. Can I turn into Twink? Oh, come on, please. Please! Twink, stay down. Damn it. I wanna be a twink! Oh yeah, yeah, simple, simple. Very simple. Exiting the forest is super simple. All you do is follow these pathways for the rest of your gaming life. And. We have just transformed into a Koopa Patrol. Hey, how goes it? Phew, they've got me working like a dog lately. You mean like a turtle? Say, I heard that Kami Koopa's building some big thing above Princess Peach's castle. I bet you it's a secret weapon designed to defeat Mario. Huh, <laughs> if that's not a hint if I ever heard one. On patrol? Very good then. You can pass through. Wait, what? Seriously? Princess Peach, where are you? I literally just snuck in to the place where I was being held captive. How's that for prison reception? Anyway, let's head up this way. Hello! I'm sure very good then you can pass through. I believe we already established that, my friend. Ah, looks like we're heading up to a new place. Well, not exactly new, but... All quiet here. Me? Nervous? No, not me. You surprised me, that's all. Now notice you cannot actually... <laughs> Wigging out the guard. You cannot actually get through here with Peach at all, because, as you can see, the flashlights cover the entire ground. Where's my relief already? My shift's been over for ages now. Listen, could you go find that slacker and get him up here? Please, I'm exhausted. He looks like this. Ah, so he's a clubber. He's probably goofing off outside the castle somewhere. Here, take this to find him. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this. I really gotta stop making that reference. It's the key to the entrance to the castle. You won't be able to get downstairs without it. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. Wigging out the guard! Wigging out the guard! I'm sorry, that's just fun to do. I love how no one notices the star kid with me. He's not even hiding, he's just following me. Ah, uh, now let's see, was it in here, I believe, or am I thinking of downstairs? Yeah, I think I'm thinking of downstairs. Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. Now, okay, guys, go in here. Now, I guess, kind of spoiler alert, not really, but... Now, you will want to put that jam and jelly in there right now, because this is actually the last Peach segment where we control Peach. Yeah, guys, so... That kind of sucks, but... If you don't put that jam and jelly in there now, or if you haven't put the bad put the badges in there yet, and you don't put it in now, you never will be able to, and I believe that means that the badges will be infinitely inaccessible to you. Anyway. So sleepy, so very sleepy. Just let me catch a quick nap, but don't tell anyone. Mumble, mumble. Shh, it's a secret to everyone. I referenced that game way too much. I'm tempted to talk to him again, but I don't want to chance it. He probably wouldn't even rec like recognize that it's Peach. Oops. I was trying to see if I could swing his club for some reason. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, can we just escape from here? It seems to be locked. You can't open it. Oh, bollocks. Oh, whale. Let's go! I still love how this room right here lo looks so much like the 
the the first main hub room of uh, Peach's Castle in Super Mario 64. It's funny. I think I already mentioned this before, but it's like I I go back to play Super Mario 64 and I suck at it with the mechanics because I'm used to the controls and everything from uh I like the smoothness from 64 DS. So it's like I keep falling off of everything when I try and go back and play 64. I actually do have a rec uh, test recording of Super Mario 64. Not not to LP it, but um, from when I first got my capture card, actually. Um, actually I actually have a test recording of that and of Zombies Ate My Neighbors. Uh, from when I first got my capture card when I was testing it out to see how things played out. And you can see, you can totally see just how bad I am at the original now. Like, well, that was before I practiced a little more. But yeah, that's just, I just find it funny. Ah, finally, about time. You're so late. Again. Don't you know how to read the shift schedule? Well, I guess I'll let it go this time. But watch it, okay? Okay, have a good shift. I'm shoving off. Thank you, sir. Don't goof off, either. You're on thin ice, buddy. Again, you have to admit, for... For being the bad guys of the game, basically, I mean, they're pretty kind and, like, respectful. They're actually pretty nice guys, especially to Peach. You could, like I said, you can tell they all like Peach. But that's what I really like about Mario. They successfully made an entire antagonist organization where they're the bad guys, but they're not bad guys. It's like, they're very moral and everything, and they're kind-hearted half the time. I mean, even Bowser. I mean, he's the king of evil, basically. But he's other than the whole kidnapping thing. It's like, and other than, other than with Mario, he's actually pretty kind hearted. I mean, look at his troops, his his minions, his his people love him. They all respect him and fear him. <laughs> but they all respect him greatly. Uh, I mean, he treats Peach with utmost respect. The only time he ever doesn't treat her with respect is like having having the guards take her back to her room and just kidnapping her in general. I mean, I know I've gone on rants about this before, but I just find it really cool. It's one of my favorite things about the whole Mario series in general. Paper, the Paper Mario series really shows that to its fullest. Although I think the, near the ending for Galaxy probably shows the most emotion ever in Bowser for the most part. At least, like, solid emotion. Hey, you. Yeah, you. Entry is prohibited for unauthorized people. I mean, turtles. And whatever the hell I am currently. But you're already up here, so I guess it's too late. It's a stupid restriction, anyway. Oh boy. Hide! <laughs> okay, okay. Everything's finally ready. Even if Mario shows up with all the star spirits, we'll still be alright. It pays to expect the worst. Absolutely. Affirmative. You're right, Kami Koopa. <laughs> Twink's hiding back there. Peekaboo. Hmm. You there. Uh, mm. You're doing a fine job. Keep up the good. Wait, something's weird about you. You smell too nice. Super smelling. Yeah! Oh boy. Uh oh. You, why you little Princess Peach? Unbelievable, out again. Guards, all of you, catch this little runaway and take her back to her room. No! And they didn't apologize this time. And back with Mario and the Star Spirit back here in Flower Fields. Ooh, I see Lakalulu in the background. Um, what was it about to say? Uh, I like how Peach is kind of like the mischievous princess type. So you don't see that in a whole lot of the other games. I mean, even Legend of Zelda. It's like Zelda is typically very proper. The first time you really see a mischievous Zelda, I'm, well, I guess, I guess the one in Minish Cap, kind of. I mean, there are a few exceptions, but the only one that's kind of mischievous is uh, probably the one from Skyward Sword, which, like I said, is my favorite Zelda. Not Zelda game, but my favorite Zelda. Zelda. But then again, she's not a princess in that one, so, yeah. Anyway. What a pleasure meeting you. My name is Cleva. Thank you for saving me. Huff and Puff is gone, so the flowers in Flower Fields can live peacefully once more. I feel that if you hadn't come, Flower Fields would never have seen the light again. Now there is only one of us Star Spirits still trapped. Just one more, Mario. Here. Please use my powers. You continue your fight. 
thought sparkles Mario's star energy goes up to six Mario can now use timeout and new star spirit power the timeout you can stop time and stop all enemies in the tracks very powerful ability good against uh, normal enemies if you feel you need it um, as far as I know I can only think off the top of my head one boss that it works on not meaning that it doesn't work on the other bosses I just haven't tried it with any I only know confirmed uh, for myself at least that it works on one but I don't know if you guys know any bosses that it works on or any times when it's really useful in this game let me know by all means all right. now you are able to use the powers of six star spirits if you use mine well it should prove to be extremely helpful in battle don't become overconfident though you must be careful Bowser has power as well remember that even stronger enemies await you I hope our powers will help will help you so that you may help us we're all depending on you I'll go back to Star Haven now I can't wait to get there I've been terribly worried about everyone Oh, sparkles congratulations young Mario you saved the star spirit because of your efforts flower fields is beautiful again thank you Mario it was worth living so long to meet a man of your stature Please come and see me again. I'll be looking forward to it. Well, I guess it's one way to say that Mario has friends in high places. Yeah. Anyway guys, we don't really have much to do here, as far as I know. So let's head back to Toad Town. Goodbye, Flower Fields. And goodbye, Great Deck of Tree. I mean, Wise Whiskey. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Yeah. Before we do anything else, uh, well, first let's check Ralph's shop. See if he has anything useful. Let's see. All or nothing. Ooh, very useful. Slip stump. And good for this. And nothing that I want. Ugh. Oh, sorry. Nothing I want particularly right now. But, uh, there are a couple things I want to do within the next episode or so. But first, I would like to show something. So we can do here. I did mention this in the last episode. Let's see. I should be able to remember the way at least. Let's see, head over here with sushi. Now luckily we all we already fought the super blooper before. So we don't have to worry about that. But bring out Lackalester, and if you guys remember there are these spikes over here. Now, jump on Lackalester. We can glide right over them. Again, very useful. And we come to this area over here. Eh. Ew. What is Spiny's doing down here anyway? Oh, no. oh yeah, stop it. Eh. Nah. Nah. Ah! I knew he was there, that's why I started going slower. Oh well. As you guys know, these are Spiny's, they have massive defense. I mean, look at that, that should have done 6 damage. But of course, Watt being our best friend here. <laughs> I love it when enemies that run into you like that just completely miss. They just go flying. It's like the, uh, the Hyper Goombas in Gusty Gulch. When they charge up and they miss, they just like go flying off screen. Major star points. Uh, actually, I do want to check my badges. I really wish I could get more than 30 BP in this game. It'd be freaking awesome. But I really do want quick change. But it's like, what would I get rid of? It's like I could get rid of Zap Tap, but it's like normally I don't use Zap Tap this much, but it is becoming very useful in this run. Uh, Dodge Master, I want to help. I want so it can help with my. Uh, my power bounces and got okay guys as far as I know the the world record for power bounces in this game is 101 uh, and a few people have actually met that so I think that maybe the cap where the game automatically stops you the problem is I have no idea how people can do that because I don't even know if I've made it past 10 in this episode yet Let's see pig boo or in this LP not game or episode pig boo I need so I could get rid of multi bounce but eh. So it's not going to do much. 
Damage dodge, I want to keep on. Uh, I still could have sworn I had more of these. I gotta check out where to get the others, because I, I should have two by now, I'm pretty sure. Unless I'm thinking of one that, w that I'm gonna get very soon. Anyway, the danger ones, and pretty lucky, I never want to take off. Zap tap, I always said. I guess I could take off Dizzy Attack. And chill out. I guess for now, if it does seem to be getting to a time when I need them again, then I'll switch back. But for now, it's like quick change is just too, too good to pass up. All right, Vault Room, so, so useful. Ah, sadly, I will have to give it up because I can't do much with it. Ah, that thing chased me down. I'm sorry, Vault Room. I don't want to leave you. There. Hey, hidden block there. Oh, I don't know how that happened. As you guys can see, we can't hit the blocks right there. So, what are we supposed to do about that? Hit the spring here. No. No, another one. How are we ever going to get out? There better be something in this chest to help us. You got the Ultra Boots. The attack power of Mario's jump increases. On top of that, you can now do a tornado jump by pressing A again while in the air. Alright yeah, guys, watch this. Woohoo! Yay! See that guys? This is a much more powerful jump. And on the bright side of it, this, that downward moment, momentum, as you can see it kind of thuds the ground. It still has the same, the same effect as power, uh, spin jump, where you do the ground pound. So don't worry if you haven't broken all the ground pound panels in the game, you can still break them with this. What? What? I guess I can show it off here. Oh boy. Okay. Yep. Ah, there we go. Oh, life room. Blam. Oh man, I got a quick hammer, I forgot about that. Ooh, definitely want that life stream. Uh, stopwatch. Stopwatch is basically the item version of the star power we just got. Uh, I have so many shooting stars, I should have used one of those in the battle instead of uh, Star Storm. Uh, did I show stopwatch already? Crap. I don't think I did. Yeah, that one's better. I guess I used Thunder Ridge. Or, maybe. Now, I'm pretty sure, no yeah, none of these really hold anything of use. So, uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back to the normal part of Toad Town, guys. I guess I'll... I will meet you when I'm there. Actually, I guess while I'm here, I shall stop watch. Get it out of the way. Plus, get us some free coins. I'm pretty sure I did show up before, but eh, just in case. Dang. Okay, what? Go have a ball. Really? Really? Come on. Oh, another item over here, guys. <laughs> Got one of my shooting stars back. Oh, okay, uh, oh, well, okay, there is some I can show here, but I'm not going to show it now, uh, for certain reasons. You'll see soon, don't worry. And I guess while we're here, now I believe, what did I say we did before? Four. So we got four, up to four last time, I believe, unless I'm mistaken. So it's five. Six. Wait, what? 
Okay. Six? Wait. Okay. Oh, okay. What do you say? God, I missed that that many times. Okay, okay. I guess I'll use one of these for now. Just because I want to get this out of the way. Okay, now it's six. Super shame. Let's see, can we get seven? Nah. I'll go with six for now. We'll get the last four later. Okay, well, besides skipping, I guess we can show we're right here back in Toad Town anyway. Uh. Eh, it still seems kind of lucky. I know, I guess I just prefer this. Uh, guys, I guess before we end off this episode, I will at least show you what we're going to be doing in the next episode. Let's see. Yeah, I don't have any of them. Yeah, guys, so I don't think I've actually shown this in the game yet. At least as far as I can tell. This is the dojo where five optional kind of mini boss type battles reside. So, in the next episode, we will be showing, hopefully, all five. So, yeah, guys, this has been Banner Knights for Let's Play Paper Mario. As I just said, in the next episode, we'll be showing the dojo fights. And get some more stuff done before we head on to Chapter 7, the last chapter before the final chapter of the game. So, the semi-final. Until then, guys... I'll catch y'all next time. Bye-bye.